You're chatty. You gonna stay with us or you gonna go? Hey? Yeah? You're in a little bit of the yellow zone, aren't you, mate? Yeah. Come on. What's up? Hey? I know this bird's in yellow. Yeah. You're a little bit unsure because you don't have any friends around. Hey? Look at your neck sticking out. So Bertie's in yellow here. Let's see if he decides or she decides to hang around. It's quite a young bird, you can tell by the yellow beak. And there is a wedge-tailed eagle flying around here just before, which will also put them on alert. So I think he's been a little bit hypersensitive. Ain't you gorgeous? Eh? So as always, now that you know what your traffic light is, yeah. See if we can get it into green. See if we can get you to mellow out. Yeah. So be wearing your hands and your legs. Oh, there we go. He's preening. Must be reasonably comfortable. I only do that if they're cosy. They're gorgeous. Right? So if your traffic light isn't green, it's really important you feel your legs, your thighs, your hands and your tummy. If there's any yuck feelings in your gut, your tummy, your emotions, again, just be aware of your legs more intensely and your hands. So that's a bigger space than what the feeling will be. So that'll give you the capacity to uh, notice it and if you allow it to be there, even though it feels crappy, hello, it allows it to move on. This is one of the secrets to emotional intelligence, is, is holding these emotions and noticing the space. So hand, hand, legs tummy breathing. As you hold that with the emotion, it means it can be there. Humans have a great uh, capacity to suppress their emotions and that gets stored inside the body as stress. And then it just gets stored there and stored there and stored there and it's just like a bank really. So then when something triggers it, from your unconscious. If you look at the Prime Directives page, you'll see that uh, the unconscious will present things to you at, a, at times so they can be released. Now, if you've got a whole ton of stuff banked up there in your system, bleh, out it comes. Usually in the form of bad behavior and, and, and uh, temper tantrums and, you know, depression and things like that really really healthy for you to be aware of your state frequently during your day. See look birds really mellowed out now, his neck's in, a little bit slow at eating. Has been a really hot week though so the birds probably quite tired from all of that. And as you hold your state in your learning state Letting the emotions be what they are. Yeah, I'm recording. Do you not want the seed? Thanks. So as you feel those emotions, holding your hands, where are they? So you notice the space out here and out here, and your legs down there. It's quite a big container. So the emotions won't be that strong. If they are that strong, then you really, really do need to hold them as much as you can in a, in a place that's safe. Excuse the noise. And that'll allow the emotions to move through instead of them being stored in your body. That will increase your emotional intelligence and therefore you can actually handle intense situations with friends, family, people you're in relationships with and stuff like that. And keep you cool, right? And this is the secret to keeping you cool. Legs, feet, hands, tummy. Yeah. The trick is remembering. So when you're green it's pretty easy to remember. How do I feel? Yeah, I feel okay, right? 
but when when you start getting emotionally hot and you go into the red you'll notice a lot not a lot of people will stop and go hmm I'm feeling a little bit irrational here nope they just go into yelling mode and don't even hear what other people are telling them that's a real sign of unconsciousness so the trick is is to bring this back and it takes practice this is something that will take you years of practice until you really master it but when you do wow life becomes a lot better because you can sort through stuff you can work things out with people and I've done trainings with people on all this sort of stuff and and then work through these people particularly if you're flatting with them or something and you're living with them and you sort through the stuff even though people's tempers are running or, or they're feeling emotional and people will say wow you handled that well I'm glad you talked me through it this is the whole point so this is how your study skills will affect your entire life if you're doing it with me state awareness going into the learning state it's where you're resourceful I can't I can I cannot say this enough very very simple isn't it so as you watch this be aware of your legs your hands and your tummy if you need to close your eyes and just feel how do I feel so in that space right hand out here with the bird the other hand my feet my feet are sore I've been walking around for three hours already this morning trying to get the birds so that makes a three-dimensional space so where where is my feelings where are my feelings right. so generally they'll be in your gut in your tummy be aware of that the other space is bigger which means you're in control what happens when you go into the red zone is you tend to forget this bigger space that's holding everything and then people tend to run off their emotions say things they will later regret go into sadness and grief and all these other things but not be aware of where it is in their body which lets it move through so that's a bit of a key with the emotional intelligence you know? and if you've got crappy stuff going on at school or university or with people if you can hold this it really really helps then you can choose consciously what pathway you're going to go down and you can be aware of the outcomes before you do it that's being conscious even if you are feeling uncomfortable you can still hold the green traffic light and feel uncomfortable look at the comfort zone page okay again it's something that takes practice but with practice if you're dedicated it gets easier and easier and easier this is why coaching is a good idea I help people with this and the development is amazing it impacts your entire life so that's the importance of this and as you keep activating keep being aware of your state feeling your body activating all your neurology your memory and your brain get stronger your capacity to focus stays stronger okay this is the thing with this modern age we have attention spans are very very short social media gets people hooked in coming back coming back coming back to social media hunting for the likes and all this other stuff or if there's a negative thing going on what's the adrenaline what's the feelings around that feel your tummy this is how it hooks you in Facebook is incredibly manipulative in terms of how it does everything how it notifies you how it makes you do things for likes and all the rest it, it's actually running you so this process here to do with the study skills the state awareness going into the learning state brings you back into control and conscious choice what it is you want in your life there you go little bird you're very mellow aren't you you're totally mellowed out 
Now, if you watch the start of this video again, you notice his neck was sticking right out there, a little bit sort of not too sure. But now it's just kind of very at peace. That's why I'll be talking about state awareness and emotions and all those things. <laughs> so, there you go. Any questions on this stuff, please contact me and we'll talk it through. I'm Jason, the student success tutor.com. Hmm, windy. Very windy, isn't it? Oh, a little bit of yellow there. You're not too sure, are you? Hey? Hey? You're all by yourself. You're a little bit lonely. Hey? Hmm. Gorgeous. Hmm. I reckon. See, he's gone to yellow. Doesn't like being close to my body. Yeah, he's gonna go. Aren't you? You gonna go? Really? Hey, sweet. Mm. Hello. Anyone going to come down? What's all that? What's all that little neck business for? You, you know I'm going to try and hold you, don't you? Hey? Eh? What are you doing? Hmm? Hello? Give me your foot. Give me your foot. Yeah, give me your foot. No. Hey. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, sweet. Give me your foot. Hello. Oh. Didn't like that very much, did you? No. Yeah. But you're that mellow. You were all cautious before. But because I'm at peace, you kind of let me nearly hold you. And you said no, so I let go. And you've come back. And everything's good, isn't it? See? Very sweet. Very sweet. Thank you.